Hey, so today I'm gonna be showing you how to optimize Opglis because a the people have spoken, and that's about it. Anyways, <laughs> follow me. First thing you're gonna need is one of these. Uh, this is a clear sight four pot. If you don't know how to go to get one of these, uh, you need clear stones, which can be get if you go to this dark cave over here at Mount Orthes and just like break the stalagmites and stalactites. That's how you get them. They'll just pop into your inventory. Beam them to death, hammer them with like a giant hammer, punch them, I don't care. Anyways, point is, you need one of these. I can't believe I actually managed to put that. Alright, drink up, baby. Now, if you didn't know, clear sight makes your vision clear. Who could have guessed? This doesn't just apply to the, oh, to the, uh, what, what do you call this? The top worlds? It also applies to the sea worlds. And, oh boy, is there a lot to see in the sea worlds. Ooh, trade request. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Now, the sea is important to see here because, uh, it's where Abu lives. Uh, Abu has this nice little home called a nest, and he spawns inside this nest. It's crazy. Basically, the point of the clear sight is so that we can clearly see these nests. If you see that, I'm pretty sure that's an Abu nest. We can easily identify Abu nests because they're very close to the ground, usually, and they don't have a diving spot point over them. Never mind, that's not an Abu nest. <laughs> that is not the nest of an Abu. Uh, I can tell because if you see that little uh, white spot over there in the water, those are air bubbles that let me know that that's a diving spot and not an Abu spawn point. It's not an Abu nest. How sagid. Watch this, Abu nest right around the corner. There wasn't one, so instead I'm just gonna hard cut to one. Yo, by the power of editing. Alright, we're gonna play a little game. Spot the Abu nest. Which which of these four underwater structures is the Abu nest? Spoiler alert, it's it's this one. You can tell because, as you can see, there's no uh, white stru- Well, there's a dingle dongle right there. But there's no white structure. That one's for that. And this does not have air bubbles coming near it, coming up to the surface near it. Which is how you can tell from afar that it is, in fact, an Abu spawn point. An Abu nest. Hello there, Abu. I'm here to murder you for your one scale. I will get a, 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 a I will ex, I will murder you in cold blood, then extract exactly one scale from your body and then leave. Now, if you're struggling to fight Abu, why? I, I'm not helping you to fight. I, I'm not helping you to fight a funny fish. If you if you're struggling with this, get good. I'm sorry, but just like get good or you know get ship attachments if you're trying to do this without ship attachments that's probably why uh, i also don't recommend using a caravel or sailboat while trying to hunt this guy because he'll probably like take out half of your ship's hp in one chomp please die and ship attachments are definitely required because they guarantee you get both of his abu drops both of abu's little drops the scales, the dingle dongle. Wow, wow, wow. Um, if you're interested, you can also like go down to his nest and collect all the chests, but I, I don't really care about all that. Uh, the, the nice thing about Abu is that these nests, these spawn points of his, are actually set. Uh, they're not, they're set, but also randomized, if that makes sense. Like, this is like one of like, I don't know, 30 different spots that Abu can spawn. One of 50, I think that sounds right. I'm not really sure how many spots there are, but because it's because these things are set, I've actually determined the the best route to find all of these nests. Of course, there are also a few outliers, but this route just covers the most, uh, how do you say? Open ocean. It covers the most ocean that, like, there aren't structures in. Yo, new trade. Oh, 5k? Yes, please. Thank you, good sir. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? 
Oh, right. Abu spawns. Uh, you might have only, like, you might not know this, because, like, you probably haven't researched Abu as much as I have, which, to be fair, is, like, three hours. I don't think anybody wants to... Oh, is that another Abu nest? Nice. Uh, but three or four Abus are guaranteed to spawn in every server. If you complete the path and only find two Abus, like I'm about to, then you probably want to check these spots. These spots are like, I wouldn't recommend it, but these are spots that Abu can spawn in. Now, one of the nice the points that Abu spawns in that are a little out of the way. I could have sworn that's not an Abu spawn. That's so cringe. Hey. How dare you be super close to the ground and not be an Abu spawn. Alright, let's say you're like me, and you've just finished your Abu route. Your final, your final nest has been felled. The Abu there has been slayed. You have two options. One, the more efficient option, the rich man option, is to log and never be seen on this server again. Just like server hop, it's it's really not that hard, and you're, you might just waste a few clear sight four pots, but at the end of the day, it's a much more efficient way of getting Abu skills. The second method, staying in the server. Staying in the server isn't a great option. I'll be honest, it's not great. Uh, Abus do technically respawn at their nests. It takes around 10 to 14 minutes, and players can't be anywhere near it while they respawn. But that's aside the point. The problem here is that while they do technically respawn, a lot of them either get bugged or it's an intentional game design, I couldn't really tell you, and just they they quit on life. These Abus just quit on life. They're never coming back. Their eggs just did not get fertilized. Uh, if one Abu doesn't respawn, it's never going to respawn. But if an Abu does respawn, it'll respawn every 14 minutes at that nest. I can't recommend staying in servers in good faith. The, the upside to staying in servers is that you can use weaker clear sight potions, like clear sight 1, and easily find the nests because you like already located them. But I really just can't recommend it. I don't do this. Just server hop. All right. So first off, check out my super cool 150 vitality juggernaut before it was meta. Trust, it's a good, it, it, it's a good class. Anyways, to sum up the Avu uh, farming portion. Uh, basically, get clear sight four. Look for low. Look for uh, see structures that are close to the floor and that don't have one of those little air bubbles coming out from it. Uh, two. Don't stay in servers. Just server hop, man. The extra clear sight isn't worth it. Just server hop, bro. It's not worth it. Three only. Uh. Three to four Abus spawn in a server, so uh, once you find three, you're, there probably aren't any more nests, so don't go out of your way to search for them. And uh, I think that's about it. See ya!